Here are four things I wished I would have known before I started my Hollywood hair journey. Number one, you gotta have a play day. What this means is very simple. You just have to set aside, I usually set aside one or two days a month where I can just play with hair. I can try new color techniques, I can try new chemicals, I can try styling, I can do all of those things that I wanna experiment Say I want to try a new style, say I want to make a leaf out of hair. This is an opportunity where I can just play, I can troubleshoot, I can see what techniques work for me, and I can just experiment. So many times people go into a salon and that's all they do is they go to work and they work behind the chair. And they don't set aside a time where we can just play and experience new styling techniques on a doll head or whatever, grab a model, try new hair, take photos of it, take a video. All of those things are really important for a play hair day. Number two, you gotta save some money. And I really wish somebody would have told me about this earlier. Even if it's $20 a month that you put into a separate account, but really explore different investments and be mindful of your money. Um, I always tell myself when I go shopping, I will put it in my cart and I will walk around and I'm telling you by the time I check out, I really only have two things in the cart because I put everything back. Because I'm like, do I really need this? Is this really gonna benefit my life or am I buying it for a different reason? One of my favorite little tips and tricks that I've actually used since the beginning is if I would like to buy a new suit, I figure out the price of that suit and I'm like, okay, this suit is gonna cost me 10 haircuts. And I kind of equate goods and haircuts together so I can be super mindful of what I'm spending and how much I'm paying and how much work that's gonna require. If you wanna buy a new car, start calculating those haircuts. Number three, self-care. You gotta take care of our bodies. We're, we stand all day, all day. So be mindful of aches and pains. Take care of yourself, get massages, get facials, you know, freshen up your color, take care of your own appearance as well. Sometimes, you know, um, is it the cobbler and the shoes the kids don't have? The, you know, come on, we gotta take care of our feet. Invest in really good shoes, and I'm gonna tell you right now, don't wear those shoes more than two days in a row. Switch them out, and make sure you take care of your joints. Get sleep, rest, and self-care every day. It's so important. Number four, boundaries. This is a tough one. I come from a family of 15. When I go home, everybody wants a haircut. And so early on when I was in beauty school, I set boundaries with my family. And the best thing you can do is say no and mean it. If you want, if somebody wants you to cut their hair, invite them to make an appointment, just like everybody else. So you can give a proper service, you can go through the consultation, and you can give them exactly what they want. If you want to discount the price, that's up to you. But I give no freebies to anyone except for my mother. Because she had me. And I'm a big kid. I'm a big baby who's 11 pounds. She gets free cuts, nobody else does. So those are four things that I really wished I knew before I started my Hollywood hair journey. If you want more tips, tricks, and you know, little inside tips, Follow, subscribe, tell your friends, tell everybody. I'd tell you to write it on the bathroom wall, but that's graffiti and we don't want that. Just put it on a post-it. <laughs>